Resurrecting me by your spirit, I will rise. 
of the Lord would be so thick in this place and that it would be tangible for us. And I just, he brought me to Second Chronicles where that did happen. And it's an amazing thing because like dad was saying this morning, which, you know, we don't talk about what he's going to say ever or anything like that, but it's exactly what the Lord gave me that preparing your heart before you come is so very important. Yes. Getting in his presence before we corporately get in his presence is so important. And in 2 Chronicles chapter 5, 13, it says the trumpeters and singers perform together in unison to praise and give thanks to the Lord. Accompanied by trumpets and cymbals and other instruments, they raise their voices and praise the Lord with these words. He is good. Yes, I his am. faithful love endures forever. Yes. At that moment, a thick cloud filled the temple of the Lord, and the priests could not continue their service because of the cloud. For the glorious presence of the Lord filled the temple of God. And I just thought, how awesome, God. Just move us out of the way yes, yes. this morning that no man would glory in your presence. Just move us out of the way every obstacle that stands against your presence and what you're trying to do here. Lord, just move it out of the way, Father. Lord, bring us closer to you, Lord. Draw us closer to your presence, God, because we know that we're nothing without it, Father. Father, we want to see you, Lord. And as you told Moses that you would pass by him and that you would cover him, Father, but that he could see maybe your backside, Lord, I just pray, Father, that we would get a glimpse of you this morning, Father, for we know that you are holy, but you're making us holy, God. You're making us holy, Father. We are being transformed into your image, God. And Father, I thank you this morning that you have made your home in our hearts, that you dwell among the praises of your people, Father. So Lord, we ask you to come this morning. We ask you to just move us out of the way and do whatever you want to do, Father. We are open to you, God. Hallelujah. We are open to you this morning. We are open to you this morning, Father. Let the spirit of freedom reign in this place. Freedom from sadness, from sorrow, from addiction, from pain. Freedom from the chains, Lord. You know what they are, Father, and you are the healer, Lord. You are the provider, God. You are everything we need. So we come seeking your face to worship you, the one and only God.
resurrecting me in your name i come alive to declare your victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me yes.
The song says death cannot hold him, and neither can sin or shame or any of these things that we struggle with sometimes. Sometimes we think that our problems are bigger than our God. Yes. But I remember reading just this past week when God made his promise to Abraham and Sarah, and he asked Sarah, why did you laugh? Is anything too big for God? And that just caught my attention because sometimes we don't say it and we don't admit it, but we do think that there are things that are yes. too big for God yes. because they seem impossible to us. But something that we need to know is that he already did the impossible. Yes, he, did. he already overcame. Because yes. death could not hold you, the veil tore before you. You silence the boast of sin and break. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory. For you are raised to life again. And you have no rival, you have no equal. worship you this morning, Lord. Father, we thank you for opening up our hearts to your spirit, Lord. And Father, I just pray that you would mold us, God, that you would shape us into who you want us to be, Father. And just help us to remember, Lord, that it's not about us, God, that it's about you. And it's about what you've done, Father, not what we can do, Lord, in our own strength, Father. We know that all of our works, Father, they really amount to nothing compared to you, Father. So, Lord, I just ask that you would remind us, Father, that you would humble us, God, that you would keep us in your presence, Father, day and night, Lord, because we want to be with you, Lord. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 